Hey Libra Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing. Let's pull some cards to take a look at the week ahead for you. What is the energy for the Libra Collective spirit? What do they need to know for the upcoming week? Okay, I don't know how to pronounce this. Yeshi Sogal? I don't know. Land of the Lotus Born. Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. I don't know if y'all want to look that up. Hopefully y'all can see. It's Y-E-S-H-E. -E, and then the second word is T-S-O-G-Y-A-L. What is the name? Yeshi Sogal. I don't know. Hmm. So I feel like um, this is a happy time for you. You're in your deepest bliss this week. That's nice. You might just start to feel good for no reason at all. Maybe you haven't been feeling good, but you take your power back. You could be learning some kind of lesson this week, getting enlightenment about something. Let's get these other cards. And let's really see what's going on for the Libra Collective. So maybe just some unexpected happiness. We have the chess queen. Trust and strategizing. And this is the Queen of Swords in this deck, y'all. This is Libra energy. So you're in your own energy this week. I love it. I absolutely love it. So this card is all about assertiveness, being analytical, being intelligent, um, and being no nonsense. Okay, direct, using your spirit of discernment, maybe even giving somebody the cold shoulder. Maybe that's why you feel so good. Being honest, being fair, being the voice of reason. Taking a logical approach to something this week. Playing chess, not checkers. And making strategic moves. Hmm. So you're empowered this week. You're embodying your own energy. Hmm. Let's see what else. I like that. You could be calling somebody out this week. You could be having an honest conversation. Maybe you're just being very fair and diplomatic this week. Seeing both sides of a situation. Or you're trusting your instincts this week. So we have safe and surrounded by love. Number 17. Somebody could love dolphins. I do. <laughs> Keep your heart open and know you are being protected. Listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. So you are being analytical this week. Your eyes are opening to something. I said you might be finding something out this week. Something could be coming to light, but you're going to handle it like a boss. If it's something that you don't want to hear, you're going to take a logical approach to it. What else is happening? Okay, we have Guadalupe forgiveness. Number 24, forgive yourself and others and awaken a deepening, I'm sorry, a deeper opening of the heart. So you have two cards here telling you to open your heart this week. Maybe that's the reason why you are so calm about whatever it is that's happening. So the number 17 or 24 could be significant, could be somebody's birthday. Hmm. So you're operating as the queen of cups this week, even though you're showing up as the chess queen, which is the queen of swords. Let me move these here. Yeah, so it's like something this week. You are logical about it, but you're also, you're fair. Um, you're not being emotional about it. You're being emotionally stable and mature about whatever it is that you are finding out this week. So we have meditation and, I'm sorry, meditation to dig deep. You're about to find something out this week. Some of y'all need to meditate so spirit can speak to you and give you the clues as to how you go about getting whatever this information is. But something is about to come to light this week and you're going to handle it like a G. I don't know. It could be somebody making a love offer to you, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio person or telling you how they feel. I just heard you might be letting somebody down easy this week. Maybe you're forgiving them but letting them go. Okay, so what's going on with the chess queen? What you strategizing this week? <laughs> oh my God, the king of swords. <clears throat> this could have something to do with a love interest, a husband, a wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, because this is your counterpart because you're showing up as the queen. They're showing up as the king of swords. Whatever is going on this week, you're being very logical. What are you strategizing? You're making a decision about something. Some of you could have like a, if you're in law enforcement or something or a person who makes decisions at work, this could have a lot to do with work. Coming up with a game plan or making a decision about something this week. Huh. The Nine of Swords and the Page of Pentacles? Hmm. So we have Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. 
Okay, for some of you, there could be new employment on the horizon for you. Maybe you're nervous about it or you have been nervous about it. And this week, that turns around for you. Maybe you get the confidence to actually apply for a new job, go up for a new job or something here. There's a financial blessing coming in. But this could also be somebody wanting to approach you in a relationship, somebody who, who wants relationship renewal. And it looks like they have good intentions, but maybe they're nervous about approaching you. So if you're dealing with an earth sign, especially if they're younger or a Gemini person or an Aquarius, this could be someone wanting to talk to you this week to tell you the truth about something, but maybe they're nervous. Yep. Here's that impartial fairness that I was talking about. So you want to see both sides. Just like I said, this is about seeing both sides of a situation and making a fair decision. It feels to me like someone wants to talk to you this week, clear the air, apologize, um, compromise with you this week. Or some of you have like a legal situation going on. Whatever it is, you're very assertive, you're very analytical, and you make the best decision for you. Whatever your choice is, it's the right choice. So just follow your instincts this week. Whether that be a lover coming back or whether that is something going on at work. If you have a tough decision to make, especially if you are nervous nervous about it, don't worry because you want to get very clear on what you need to do or what you need to say in a situation, whether it's something coming to you or a decision that you're making, you know, about someone else. So what is safe and surrounded by love? I feel like you have new love coming in or love interest coming back. It could be both. The sun. Remember I said here you're in your bliss? This week you're very happy. Like maybe even unexpectedly, you just feel like like a kid for some reason or something. You're getting good news. The sun is good news. It's the happiest card in the tarot deck. Oh, let me take that. Okay, the five of wands, Leo energy. You have strong Leo showing up here. Let me read this card again. So it says to see and understand what's going on around you. You got a couple of people in competition with you this week, but you're none the wiser because you're so caught up in your own happiness, your own joy and bliss that you don't even know. There could be some people trying to compete with you this week, but as I always say, you can't compete where you don't compare. So what is going on here? <clears throat> oh my God. There is somebody that wants to offer this cup of love to you. This is a love offer, y'all. Or for some of you, this is your inspiration coming back. I feel like it's love, though. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's like maybe you're dealing with someone who had other options. Maybe they were choosing other options, but now they're choosing you. So there could be some people pissed off. That could even be family and friends. It doesn't have to be other lovers. The Eight of Swords with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody that was trapped is walking away. This could be you walking away from a situation you have felt stuck in. But I feel like this is either a new person coming to you or someone you've been wanting to hear from <clears throat> reaching out to you. For some of you, this will be the whole entire month of August. You and this person kind of kind of like rekindling your relationship. Maybe they're walking away from something they felt trapped in. A, a Pisces or a Gemini person. Could be a Cancer Scorpio as well. And Leo is here. Yeah, somebody misses your love. Somebody misses the happiness, the joy that you brought to their life. So it looks like they're walking away from something else. Okay, so maybe you're forgiving this person, Guadalupe. Somebody's name could be Guadalupe. Isn't that Jennifer Lopez's mother's name? I believe so. The Five of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. Yeah, somebody who maybe left you out in the cold or abandoned you or made you feel like you were not welcome in their life. They could have victimize you or made you feel like a victim okay a Taurus or Leo person <laughs> forgive yourself and others and awaken a deeper opening of the heart so it's like somebody is admiring you this week that maybe left you out in the cold okay or maybe you turned your back on them who is it yeah wow somebody that really hurt you Libra energy or someone that you hurt this could be someone who cheated on you they betrayed you. They hurt you some kind of way. So somebody does want to put you on a pedestal. Whereas maybe before they weren't giving you the time of day. So Spirit is telling you to meditate, to dig deep. Okay, so what is this about? The Six of Cups. Because someone from your past is coming back. A Scorpio for some of you. Or you're on a Libra Scorpio cusp. Yeah, they're coming back quickly too. It's like somebody from the past is resurfacing. Cancer energy. Scorpio energy, they're reminiscing about you a lot. You could be thinking about them too. But you too have some um, obstacles to overcome here, which is why someone wants your forgiveness. But they're coming in very quickly. Could be in law enforcement, could drive a motorcycle, ride a motorcycle rather. 
It could be at a distance, but nothing's going to stop this person from coming back your way. Okay, the hermit. What's the hermit? Virgo energy. You could be on the Virgo Libra cusp. With the nine of wands, Sagittarius energy. So this person has been going through what feels like maybe a dark night of the soul. Maybe they've been meditating to dig deeper in the hermit energy. Somebody has been doing their work to figure out why they couldn't give you love in the past that you gave to them. They've been soul searching. Maybe you haven't spoken. It could be just nine days that you haven't talked to this person. It could be six months that you haven't spoken to this person. For some of y'all, it could be five years, eight months, eight weeks, one month, nine weeks. That's what I'm seeing here. Six days for some of you as well. Yeah, okay, so I'm seeing you this week tap into some kind of avenue for making generational, creating generational wealth here. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, something is happening to stabilize your finances this week as well. Somebody could be gardening, planting some seeds, literally or figuratively. Hmm. For some of you, you have a twin flame showing up here with the Six of Cups. Yeah, so what is this energy of rejecting? Cancer and a Magician. I do feel a little bit of hesitation with you taking this person back. Because you do wonder if they are who they say they are. A Gemini or a Virgo person. You can have cancer in your chart. But you will be making a decision this week. And we have the death card and the high priestess. All this high, um, this uh, major arcana. So we have Scorpio cancer showing up here. So there's a decision that you are making this week. And you are doing it from a very fair and balanced place. It feels to me like you're trusting your intuition this week. You may end up rejecting this person, but also forgiving them at the same time. Let's see what shows up in your advice. Cougar, leadership. You could be older than your person because when I saw, saw a cougar, I just think of y'all know, like an older woman. You have come into your own power. Now is the time to take the lead of a situation and be strong. Using the power of intentions, be clear with purpose and define where you are heading. So yeah, definitely you have strong boundaries this week. You're standing up for yourself this week. Again, you're being very assertive, but you're also operating in love. I don't see you being angry with someone. I see you being direct with them. I see maybe somebody here finally waking up to the fact that they want to be with you. Um, and I see some of you just saying no. I see some of you going from rags to riches this week because you do keep your heart open. You've passed a spiritual test here. So I do feel like there will be some good financial news coming in for you, maybe even through a legal situation, something going on in court. You could even be a lawyer and may maybe winning a case or a couple of cases this week. It's time to stop letting worry rule you. Instead, get excited about your future and, it will, and what it will bring. Wait, Lord, I can't talk. Yeah, this is the bliss here. So you got the sun and you got bliss, which both mean bliss. So there's something happy, something good, some good news coming in. What energy and emotion you put out comes back to you. That's why you have the justice card. That's reaping what you sow. With a little conscious effort on your part, that happy ending can and will be yours. Believe that. Beautiful energy to close out your reading. Do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all next time. Peace.